Welcome back guys. Uh, this week we're going to sand down the double bed frame. Hopefully start fiberglass and that in, get that done. Um, I've got to finish the back wall, finish bonding it and doing the sides. And hopefully we can get the double bed all done, put in and up, and then it'll just be the top half of the wall that's left. Um, but yeah, let's see how far we can get. Last week, all that's dry now, obviously, and the bonding. So, what I've decided to do is, is if I sand this down now, and then if it gets too late, I can then bond some more stuff up and let that dry overnight instead of me waiting around for it to dry. Um, so I've looked at the tin, I think I've got about another batch I can do and then I've ran out. It's done quite well, it's done all of this, double bed stringers, the main floor stringers, and that was 5kg, I've just ordered another one, should be here by in the next few days, uh, just so I can start bonding it all properly and bond that in all up in there, get that nice, because that's all going to be fiberglass, so it's solid. Um, but yeah, so I'll crack on with sanding this down and see how far I get. Okay. Alright, that's all sanded down. Sorry about the footage, I just... It's, it is definitely difficult underneath here. I think what's that, about two foot. I'm trying to climb over all of these. But I've managed to sand all the edges off. Uh, nice and smooth now. Um, I've just got a couple little patches in the corner to smooth over. But I won't, I won't bore you with that. So really, the next thing will be... I'm going to acetone it all up, get everything spotless because this is like any fiberglass job you do, you really want it the cleanest you can get it. Um, and then I probably see how how much time I've got left, maybe cut some strips of fiberglass ready to uh, fiberglass in. I'm not too sure, see, see how far I get and then uh, whatever bonding paste I've got left uh, I will get the sides done, even if it's just get a little bit in there for now until the next order comes in at least it will set and it will hold it there while I can carry on fiberglass and this out, but yeah see how it goes. Okay that's that, all that's turned up. The weather's turned horrible, I don't know if you can hear it, it's all tipping down out there. So what I've decided to do is start fiberglassing. I'm going to probably start that one first, work my way across the back. Won't get it all done today, but I'll start from there, work my way back, then I can work here. As soon as this is all done, and my fiberglass upstairs, this whole board can go back in and I've got something to lay on when I'm doing um, the paste, bonding paste, that's the one. Uh, so yeah, I'll start with that one and crack on with that.
Okay, and that's that one done. Um, all doubled up, rolled out. I'll trim the edges up once it's set and dry or cured, per se. Um, so that's probably going to be it for this today. Um, and then hopefully I can come back tomorrow. Yeah, and keep going across, work my way back. It shouldn't too, take too long once I get started now. I mean, most of today took sanding and preparing everything, make sure I've got everything. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that one's done, so I'll just work my way across. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, new day. Don't know if you can hear it's pouring down the rain now. Horrible weather. Canopy's doing really well though, keeping it all dry in here so I can actually carry on fiberglass and then doing what I need to do. So that's all cure now, nice and solid. You see, originally there was a crack up there. I don't know if you can see if it can focus in. There was a crack there, might be too dark actually. But I've done extra layers on that. So that's all nice and solid. So I think really it's just carry on working across. Uh, I think I used about a litre of fiberglass, a uh, resin on that. It was actually quite a lot. It's quite deep, it's probably about eight inches deep. And if you look on this, it's, it's very weird setup to be honest, because that's eight inches there. And I'd say that was four inches. So from one side to the other, very weird setup. But anyway, enough talking. I'm going to carry on just working, maybe on that one or that one, whichever one I decide to pick. Okay. Okay, excuse the time lapse, it is really hard to get the right angle, especially in this middle bit, but that's M3 done now. So this one's, I started this first, it's now solid. That one's just setting off now. So I've just got these three left to do, which will be tomorrow now. I'm just gonna come in and just try and get as much as I can done. I was hoping to get a bit more done today, but I'll have to leave a little bit early, family things. Okay, new day. I've already uh, saved a bit of camera work and boring stuff. I've already cut out, so that's already cut out to go here. Then that's already cut out to go here. I probably should have done that on the other ones. You know, just spend a bit of time cutting them all out. Cause it really does take up a lot of time getting the right pieces. Uh, the only one I'll do later is this one. So what I'm gonna do now, do that, roll it all out properly, and then jump over to this side and carry on that instead of stopping and trying to cut all this out and then going again. But yeah, so I'll crack on with that.
Okay, that's that one done over there. And that one's just going dry now. So what I've done already is I've cut all the pieces again for the middle. Um, I'm gonna start in the middle now and then that should be all of them fiberglassed in. Okay, and that's all of them done now. Thank God that took a little while. <laughs> um, that one even took, I think it was a liter and a half. So in total, um, so I bought two of these 10 liters and I've just got hardly anything left on the second tub. And that is for the main floor and this has taken 20 litres to do all that, which ain't too bad. I've just bought um, another 20 litres, so, you know, there's any little bits. And then it'll be onto the, uh, the toilet area. So really the next part I think I'm gonna do is let all this set for today and then come back tomorrow cut all of this off, maybe give this a little resin wash and then the double bed floor can go on top and that'll be it for now. And then actually before I put the double bed floor, I might as well give this a coat of build paint. The next stage we'll be working on this bonding paste and fiberglass and all that in, but this will be, I can build paint that and finish that off. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, and that's all nice and all dry now. Perfect. Um, got to trim all these off. Then it, it'd be ready for build painting, but I can do that later. So what I think I'm gonna do next is take the vent for the outside of that off with all these little screws in it. Um, I think there's also a power socket, socket there, so it's got four screws there. So I can get that off and get that ready for fiberglass in because I've got to patch that hole up and then over up there, got to patch those up. So I think that's the next stage um, while I wait for stuff to sort out and bond and paste it. I can start preparing all this. Um, yeah, so I'll start taking this off now. Okay, and that's that hole ready to fiberglass up. I've got that one up there. I've got all of them, but I can do this one for now. I just need to, I'll probably have to take the whole steering column out, uh, drop that down and sand it all down and fill that in later. Uh, one thing I have been looking at is uh, a few of you commented on the last, I think last video or the video before about this. Now what I think's happened is where that was rotten and collapsed and the toilet walls when I took them out a year ago, they were rotten and collapsed. So what I think's happened is they were rotten when the last previous owner fiberglassed this up. So they probably, it probably dropped down and they fiberglassed over it just to hold it up. Um, so my plan is once I've uh, done this double bed section is, if you see, if I get a jack in the middle and just take the tension off of this, um, I don't know if you can see, if you see the crack and if I just lift, probably can't see it, but it actually does close up a bit.
So what I'm thinking is keeping the jack there until I've done this wall, the anchor locker wall, and even that wall down there because when I, what I don't want to do is bond it all up together now and then come up to here, jack this up and it actually needs to go up a bit and it might break the seal. So what I might as well do is jack it up, bond it and get most of it done to be honest because once I've done that section there and finished that wall, it'd be going on to the toilet which this big wall here will also support the ceiling. Same as the main wall with the door and this wall here, which will support it all, which might be enough, but as long as the jack's not in my way, I'm thinking just carry on, leave it there until I can get the the anchor locker. Cause that's what, that's what I think's happened is where, like I said earlier, it's collapsed there. It's just, it's just cracked all the corners. But the good thing is just by lifting this up, I can see it, close, it cl closes in. Um, which I think is the main problem that they've done. So yeah, um, I'm just trying to work out now in my head. I've got to fill this hole in and obviously you can't just put, or I could try is put fiberglass matting over it, but I need something to stop it from falling through. So I've got to try and work that out. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now and then what I'm gonna do is carry on doing what I said I was gonna do. I'm gonna cut all of this off. Already started a little bit. Um, and clean all that up and get that. And then I'll resin wash this, then bilge paint, and then the whole floor can go in and that is complete then. Okay. Okay, and that's, it's a new day today. Uh, finally cleaned it all up. I had to wait for the power to be sorted. Uh, generator wasn't working properly, so I fixed it yesterday. Managed to hoover it all now, all cleaned. So I think the next stage is, we'll get some bilge paint on all of this. And then that means I can get the, the double bed floor sat on there and it can dry, do whatever. I'll leave it open obviously until I do any work on this. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna carry on with the build paint. Okay, and that's a double bed, all built painted. First coat, obviously, I'm gonna do a couple coats. Uh, you see it's a little bit patchy, maybe in little ways. I don't know if you can see it, but definitely a couple coats gonna go on there. Um, it was going perfect, so I had the roller going up to there, and then all of a sudden this happened to it. Let me see if we can go quick. Just fell apart on me. I don't know if it's something in the paint just had the glue away or I don't know what happened, but that was just rubbish. So on the last two here, I had to use a paintbrush and it's really um, hard to get it in the, the little like fiberglass grooves. So I had to keep going over and over and over, which just took so much time. But that's, it's looking really good. Happy with that so far. Um, that's probably going to be it for this week. Um, hopefully next week I can get, definitely get the floor in, start 
bonding paste in the sides of these and the top and probably get the whole back wall on next week and start looking at the toilet area. But yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.